Hello children, welcome back to your English class. Today, we are going to learn how to stretch the sentence by adding details to make our sentences interesting. This is the last exercise from chapter 2, the story of Rudolph. Children, please check your answer. And also check the answers of worksheets 32. I'm sure you have done this work. Let me explain you about the exercise for your better understanding. Complete the sentences using article A, AN or THE. Number one, I met dash boy. We write a boy because the word boy, b, start with the consonant sound b. The boy was going to school. Here we use the boy because we are talking about this particular boy for the second time. So, we will write the boy and children make sure that T should be in capital because after full stop we are starting the new sentence. So, you have to write T in capital. Number two, I saw dash aeroplane in dash sky. I saw an aeroplane. We say an aeroplane because the word aeroplane Start with the vowel sound A. In the sky. We say the sky because we are having only one sky. It is something unique. So, in front of unique words, we have to use the. 3. Dash milk of our dairy is pure. We write the milk because milk is uncountable noun. So, we cannot write a milk and milk. So, in this case, you have to write the milk and make sure T should be in capital. Number four, John and Adam are coloring dash X. Here, children, C E double G S. X is in plural form. So, we cannot write a or an egg. So, we have to write the egg. What we have to write children? We have to write the X. 5. There is dash orange on the table. We say an orange because the word orange starts with the vowel sound O. Oh. So we write an orange. 6. Dash Ramayana is a famous book. Ramayana is the name of holy book. So in front of holy book, we write the Ramayana. And children make sure here the T should be capital. 7. That was dash easy math sum. As the word easy starts with the vowel sound E, so we will write an easy math sum. 8. Dash Taj Mahal is made of white marble. Taj Mahal is the famous building name. So we will write the Taj Mahal. And children here, T must be in capital. 9. We live in dash cottage. Dash cottage has five rooms. So we live in a cottage. We are talking about the cottage for the first time. So we write a cottage. As C is the consonant sound. So we write a cottage. Dash cottage has five rooms. We write 
the cottage because we already spoke about the cottage once in our first sentence so we write the cottage because we are using it for the second time i read dash interesting book so i e is the vowel sound so we write an interesting book now let's move on to today's exercise that is sentence stretching sentence stretching is a writing technique that helps to add details to the sentences okay children now how to add details to our sentences and make them more interesting for that we must know five w's word that is five double h question word let's read what are they who what when where and the last word is why okay children now these five double h question words will give us steps and technique to think quickly to frame an interesting sentences let's see how to use wh questions if the question ask who the answer must be a person if the question ask what the answer must be a thing or an action okay children if the question ask when the answer must be a time if the question ask where the answer must be a place if the question ask why the answer must be the reason now let's move to our exercise children take out page number 31 write down today's date writing writing interesting sentences stretch a sentence we add details to make sentences more interesting look at these examples come on children let us read the example who did what when where why now we are going to find answers for these all wh questions so in this way we can add details to make our sentence more interesting a pretty butterfly is the starting sentence now in step 2 did what the subject of the sentence did what so the subject of the sentence was flying around it means a pretty butterfly was flying around now step 3 what time of the day this happened so it means when and what time of the day this happened one sunday morning so how to stretch the sentence one sunday morning a pretty butterfly was flying around now step 4 where now we have to add answer for where where did this happen in my garden so how to stretch the sentence one sunday morning a pretty butterfly was flying around in my garden now step 5 why why did the butterfly flying around the garden 
because it was spring. So now see how to stretch the sentence by adding these all details. This is the last sentence. One Sunday morning, a pretty butterfly was flying around in my garden because it was spring. Okay, now let's see more example with the same another example this is from your workbook children a dog a dog ran is the starting sentence now who a small dog a small white dog now how will you add more details to who with a red collar a small white dog with a red collar did what? Ran. How? Hurriedly. Where? Through the crowd. In the mall. When? Today evening. So in this way you can add details to your sentences. Now, let us do same with another example. Use this information to make interesting sentences. Now, who? My beautiful goldfish. This is the starting sentence. Did what? Was swimming. Now, our next question. When? Today morning. Where? In the pond. Why? Because it lives in water. Now, let us add adjective and adverbs in our sentences. Today morning, my beautiful goldfish was swimming happily in the pond because... It lives in fresh water. Children, we took a short sentence about goldfish. We made it very interesting by adding details with the WH words. I hope you have enjoyed and understood an easy and creative techniques to write an interesting sentences. Thank you.